Well, here it is. Time for another uh, Route 66 tour. I'm leaving my home up here in the beautiful Colorado. Coming down the mountain from my house. And today, I've got 600 miles to do. I'm going from Conifer, Colorado to Council Bluffs, Iowa. About 600 miles. It's gonna be a long, long day. And uh, it's a lot of driving, but that's my lot for doing this job. It's a lot of driving. I've got 1,200 miles to go in the next two days. So today and tomorrow, I will have driven 1,200 miles before the tour begins. I've already driven about 1,100 um, from Los Angeles to here to Colorado. Had a couple days to get everything packed away in the support vehicles. You can see, it's all in here. Let's see, I'll show you. There you go. Don't know if you can see it too well or not. But anyway, it's time to go. And I've been itching for this. I've been wanting to go. It's after a while, sitting around at home gets kind of boring. So it's a good thing to get back out on the road. I got other things to do when I'm not out on tour, but I do have a lot of downtime, which is kind of nice. It gives me the opportunity to do some uh, reading. I do a lot of reading, a lot more than you would expect. Um, I do a lot of research. I teach myself stuff. A couple years ago, I went down to the University of uh, Colorado, Denver, DU, and got the syllabus and the reading list and the book the uh, textbook list for quantum mechanics. And then I watch the MIT online learning courses and all the lectures. And I taught myself quantum mechanics. I'm an autodidact. So it's a lot of fun to do. But after a while, just sitting around the house, you know, working on some things, there's only so much you can do around the house after a while. My house is spotless clean in the winter time. In the summertime, that's a different story. I'm not there, so it gets a bit dusty. But other than that, um, no, it's, it's just great to get back out on the road again. I'm happy to do it. I love doing it. I wouldn't do it any, I wouldn't do anything else. It's just, uh, it's just so much fun. It's a lot of work. It's a lot, a lot more work than people actually think it is. Um, it's, you know, you gotta, you gotta deal with people for two weeks straight, you know, basically 16 hours a day, 20, you know, 24 seven almost really. If something happens in the middle of the night, who do they call me? So, but it's, uh, it's worth it. it. There's a huge amount of satisfaction I get. It's just a lot of fun and it's really good. I love showing off my country. I love showing off Route 66 to everybody, giving them a bit of our history and our pop culture and the advent of pop culture. So it's really worth doing. So I'm going to get off this and I got to drive. So that was the drive down my hill. If for those of you who are paying attention, lots of curves. Anyway, that's it for now. Keep checking back. Until next time, keep the rubber on the road and the shiny side up. Bye. Can I get any of you cunts a drink?
10 hours later. Yep. 10 hours have gone by. And I am now going through downtown Omaha, Nebraska. And I'm about to cross over the river. And uh, I will be in Council Bluffs, Iowa. I made it. Yay! Yes, all have made it all the way. It's uh, Say 583 miles, 584 miles today in 10 hours. And that's uh, nine and a half hours of driving time. I only stopped for about 30 minutes for lunch and to fuel up. That was it. That's it, man. I have been driving, driving, driving. You, saw, you probably saw in the earlier in the video. Uh, that's how you. That's how you stay awake. That's how you, you, you deal with the boredom and the monotony of driving and driving and driving across Nebraska. It's boring, man. There's nothing out there. I mean, it's flat. It's flat and nothing. Okay, well, there's some cows and some corn and soybeans and some wheat. Uh, little small towns here and there. And uh, oh, there was also that, that really interesting museum. That thing goes over the interstate. I'll show you the pictures of that. Uh, or you probably saw them in the video. But that's it's the most amazing museum ever uh, the museum of the great plains or i think that's it i don't know i'll have to look anyway but it's a really cool museum um if you ever get a chance to go check it out it's pretty neat because you can walk around the museum and then walk over the window and look at the traffic going underneath and that's where the oregon trail the mormon trail and the welch fargo uh, overland stagecoach line was um, that's where all the people migrated out west back in the, uh, oh gee, 18th, 19th century, all through there. So it's, it's been a long day, it's been a long day of driving, but I made it, I made it safe and sound. And actually right now, I am crossing over the river and I am in Iowa, yes, I've made it to Iowa. Okay, well lots of corn now. That's pretty much all they grow here is corn and soybean. I get to see more of that. Ah! But I got another uh, full 10 hours of driving tomorrow to do. So uh, in the meantime, remember, keep the rubber on the road and the shiny side up.